Hi friends. Today we are going to learn about LTE frequency planning. Or we can say that uh, EARF cell planning. But before going to the EARF cell planning through at all tool, this is automatic planning tool. We have to know about little about ERF CN. What is ERF CN? If you have allotted, um, we know that uh, LT supported maximum bandwidth is 20 megahertz. Means LT can operate on 20 megahertz maximum bandwidth, and minimum bandwidth requirement is 1.4 megahertz. In band 40 means 23 megahertz. If we are latent 40 megahertz, means one air option correspond to 20 megahertz and another air option is correspond to 20 megahertz means we have two air option then we require the air option planning but if we have only one air option then there is no requirement of air option planning all the e node b have same air option then we require only pci planning This is the formula for calculation of LT ERFCN. FDL, this is central frequency. FDL low, this is starting frequency of the band plus 0 0.1 into NDL. This is the ERFCN minus NDL offset. Offset. This is the uh, default offset. Here uh, we can see that here NDL offset is the starting DL ERFCN. Now we consider the example for band 1. Band 1 start frequency is 2110 and DL offset is 0 for downlink. The start frequency in uplink 920 megahertz and offset for uplink is 18000. Let us suppose that we have allotted the bandwidth in band 1. 2150 to 2155 megahertz total bandwidth 5 megahertz and 2143 to 2148 megahertz total 5 megahertz the allotment of total 10 megahertz bandwidth is not continuous 5 megahertz then 5 megahertz they um, we found that there is a gap so correspond to 2150 to 2155 megahertz bandwidth means bandwidth 5 megahertz if we calculate for this first bandwidth allotted we found that ERFCN DL is 425 and 2143 to 2148 megahertz bandwidth if we calculate for the ERFCN for this 5 megahertz bandwidth we found that ERFCN DL is 355 means we have two ERFCN 355 and 425. Now we plan this these two ERFCN in our network LT network. So this is the our LT network. Now we start the ERFCN planning. Go to the view option and click on the network explorer. We can go through, click on that option transmitter, right click, then go to the AFP automatic frequency planning. But but before going to plan ARSN, we have to set the parameter option. Go to the option view, then click on the parameter explorer. Here we go to the radio network setting. In the radio network setting, we go to the option frequency. When we click this op frequency option, we find the bands option. Double click on the band option. Okay, a new, new window is appear. Here we are using band 1, E ultra band 1, 5 megahertz, which is start frequency is 2110 for DL downlink. Here the first channel is 25 and last channel is 555. 
but we have the ERFCN 355 and 425. Then we set the first channel is 355 and last channel is 425. When we start the ERFCN planning through AFP, then AFP consider all the ERFCN from 355 to 40, 425, but with step 50, then we have two options. First, if we calculate the gap between 355 and 425. This is the 70. Then we can put the value 70. Then AFP consider only 355. After that, it creates a gap 70, means last channel is 425. Then planning will be done by considering only two options 355 and 425. Another option is excluded channels. We can exclude the channel. 320, 355 to 4, uh, 425 means excluded channel is 356, 357, 358 to 424. Then, if we start the ERFCN planning through FP, it consider only 355 to 425. Yeah, only two ERFCN 355 and 425. Then, first option is easy. We put the value in a step option 70 then it, it will consider only 355 and 425 year option if we put another value 40 25 then more year option will consider the afp for planning anti frequency planning now save option and start go to the option network explorer right click on the transmitter option Click on the P option, automatic allocation. Here allocate frequency. We can tune the reuse distance 2000 meter, 3000 meter as per our requirement. Then go to the option start. Calculation completed. Here we can see that 355, 425 and then commit the value. Then close the window. Go to the option transmitter, then click on the properties, label, then select the channel number. Click on the apply, then OK. This is the option planning for our network when we have two option. Generally, we have only one option, so LTE option or LTE frequency planning is not required, only PCI planning is required.